Hello 3D artists and enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. The focus of today's video will be V-Ray Distance Texture and some tricks of how to use it to add more realism to your scenes. I'll be here to guide you through the process step by step. Let's start by understanding what V-Ray Distance Texture is all about and a couple of use cases. So, imagine you want to create a wear effect on a wall or to create some street markings or you want to control how materials look based on the proximity to other objects. Well, there's where V-Ray Distance Texture comes in. Ok, let's start with this scene that I have prepared and let's open the Material Editor. I have prepared some materials that we will combine using distance texture so that we can create the markings and some dirt and some other different additions to the road. So at the moment I have added this uh, simple asphalt material and it is only diffuse map and some bump and reflection and glossiness maps combined together to create the simple asphalt material. So we'll add some uh, leaves and dirt in the corners and in the edges. Uh, we'll use this uh, simple white material for the white uh, markings some blue asphalt will, which will add to the uh, necessary spots and some yellow markings. So ok, let's start by creating a V-Ray blend material and we'll use the asphalt as the base material. Now let's copy the white marks in the first slot let's add all the other as well and here as blend masks we'll use V-Ray Distance Texture here it is so uh, the distance it specifies the radius outside which all the uh, object is shaded using the far color. The far color uh, is the texture that is used for the points that are further than the uh, specified in the distance number. So we'll use some uh, markings that I have prepared. Let's turn them on. So we have uh, some uh, lines that we'll use for the park places, uh, some two spots for the disabled, here is uh, the crossings and uh, here is some text that we'll cover in as a yellow marking. And we'll add some dirt in the edges. I have prepared several geometry objects, this will serve for the blue markings to cover the park places this will serve as uh, for the white markings and this text will be the yellow marking so let's add them to our distance texture So we are working with the white markings, so let's rename this material white markings mask and let's add this object which will serve to cover our texture in white. 
so we'll use the near color so we'll replace those as the far color will be using the asphalt texture and the near color will use the white material also let's enable this tick and this tick so that inside is separate and it's solid and it's the same material as well so inside the <coughs> this object which uh, uh, overlaps our asphalt inside it will be white and also there is some uh, distance which will uh, like blend the two materials together and this distance will be like 3 centimeters for example we can use as well a map so that we can uh, make the material uh, blend a bit better together or you can play with the numbers as well uh, something crucial is uh, this geometry that will serve as masking uh, to select all of them and right click and select object properties and make them not renderable so that they will not be visible in the render they will serve only as masks to blend between the materials so this is more or less what's going on to with the other masks as well let's uh, copy the mask and paste it on the next to use it as copy let's rename it as uh, boo mask and here we'll remove this one and add the other one the blue lines for the park spots and let's paste it again here for the text let's rename it yellow mask and here we'll pick the text so it will be covered in white so the last one is the leaves uh, here we'll make it uh, a bit different let's add a new V-Ray distance texture so here the, the number will be like a bigger one so that we want this dirt to, to be shown like for example 40 centimeters uh, let's again switch uh, those uh, so that uh, the far will be the asphalt it will be visible and the near color will be the leaves that will be shown and uh, also let's stick them together and copy this one here so for mask this time we will use the curb that we have here so like 40 centimeters offset from the curb we'll have uh, those leaves so let's uh, also uh, add a mask here let's check for example here the asphalt and we'll get this map from here and add it here to break up uh, a bit the the pattern of the leaves let's show you how it looks we can adjust the size of this map for example so that we can see how it looks so where it's white we will see the our map and where is black it will be the asphalt so that it breaks up a bit the pattern okay so this is how it looks let's test the render okay and here is the end result as you can see 
we can see the white markings we can see the blue parking spots for the disabled and also their sign uh, by the way for the sign I have used uh, the technique that I have shown in a previous video for converting a 2D image into a path you can check the video we can see as well the the stop sign which is in yellow marking and also the the dirt with the leaves here everywhere like 30 centimeters from the curb we can as well adjust the so it's not like so perfect straight line to add some uh, dirt map to adjust the the radius a bit you can play with the settings and you can uh, see with your eyes what suits you best uh, so there it is guys a comprehensive look at using V-Ray distance textures in 3ds Max remember experimentation is the key so don't be afraid and try out different settings to achieve the perfect look for you if you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more 3d content if you got questions or suggestions drop them in the comments below if you did enjoy anything in this video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.